Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's Virtual Knowledge. We have a very exciting session today. We are joined by the Kefalonia Taurus Board, um, the lovely Marina that I've got with me this morning, who's going to be presenting to you. Um, I'm Kat from the Jetsy Holidays Trade Team. If you haven't seen me for a while, I'm just back from maternity leave. <laughs> um, this is one of my first sessions back presenting, so delighted to be doing it with you today. We have got Gareth um, from the team with us as well. He's doing all the behind the scenes um stuff for us today all the screen sharing technical stuff so he's with us um too so as always we are going to be doing a jetsu holidays update and then i'll be handing it over um to maria to take you through catalonia we have got a fantastic prize up for grabs for you today um so do make sure that you take plenty of notes on the session um, and we'll do a quiz at the end as always for one of you to win the chance um of a four night stay in a four or five star accommodation you're going to get car hire included as well as two experiences that's going to be a wine tasting and an outdoor activity and um, there are some t's and c's around the prize but we'll touch on that a little bit later when we get to to the quiz um but yeah fantastic opportunity for you to be getting involved uh, in that today so in terms of Jet2 holidays, um, we are in the winter season now. We are going into your quiet period, but it really doesn't have to be that. We've just launched our sale for £50 off per person, and that's on all holidays from November to January. So an absolutely huge opportunity for your customers to be getting a great bargain this winter. You know, if that's a family, that's a saving of up to £200 per booking. So it's a fantastic opportunity to get some deals in there for your customers. Whether you're looking at city breaks, short breaks, families, don't think that families don't travel in the winter. They absolutely do. We can see the bookings coming through. So if you're not getting that business, you need to make sure you're going out and getting it. So think about your social media, think about your windows, your e-shots, all your forms of marketing. This period doesn't have to be quiet for you. Let's go out, let's get the business and let's bring it in and let's fill those planes. Um, so just remember, you've got £50 off per person on all holidays from November to January and think it's immediate cash flow then for your business. So great little opportunity for you there. So, as I said, I've got Marina with me this morning from the Catalonia Tourist Board, who's going to be taking you through her presentation today. So I'm going to hand you over now uh, to Marina to start that um, presentation. Thank you very much, Kat. Um, good morning to everyone. Thank you very much for joining this session on Catalonia. Um, I will share my presentation. Um, one minute. So... Today you're going to get us uh, an insider's tip about Kefalonia and the beautiful island that you will be selling as a holiday. So, one minute. Kefalonia is an island situated on the west coast of Greece. It's part of the Aegean island, uh, sorry, the Ionian islands, the Ionian islands. And um, as you can see, the island is a very large island. And there's on this little map here to your right of the screen, there are things that you can do on the island. Now, the top attractions of the island, there are three top attractions. Number one is Mirtos Beach. I'm sure you've probably all heard of it. It's a world-renowned beach and it's situated to the north of the island. Here is a little video of you for you. Okay, so continuing from where we got left you, our third top attraction is Melisani Cave. So Melisani Cave is an underground lake cave that is accessible um, by little wooden boats. And it's situated to the east side of the island, um, just very close to a village called Sami. 
and here's the video of the lake. Um, Argostoli is the capital of the island. It's situated in the west-south of Kefalonia. It's a beautiful little peninsula, the way it's situated, and it has access to um, cruise ships. And of course, being the capital city of the, of the island, it has a very good uh, shopping activity. It has lots of restaurants and lots of uh, activities and areas to visit, like museums and old historical sites. Here is a, a bird view of the city of Argostoli, and as you can see, the cruise ships where they come and dock. Now, three important facts to know about Kefalonia. So Kefalonia is a big island. We say it's a big island because um, when you visit the island, you need a few, you need a, quite a few days to actually see the whole island and enjoy it. Of course, it's the biggest of the Ionian islands, and it's the sixth largest island in Greece, with 773 squared kilometers um, that covers the whole island. So um, if you're if you're staying in the south, you need about an hour to reach the north, and vice versa. Or if you want from the east to go to the west coast equivalently. So the island is very big. So that's something very important to have in mind. Also, Kefalonia is very versatile. And what we mean by this is that it has very diverse landscapes. So you have a lot of forests, you've got a mountain, you have valleys with vineyards and olive groves, a lot of cypress trees. Um, and for that reason, it's a very green island in comparison to the Aegean islands, which are dry islands. So it's a if, you've, if someone visits the Aegean and then comes to Kefalonia, it's a huge difference how green and how, um, how dense it is in its plantation. And of course, we've got Mount Enos, which is our, it's the highest mountain in the Ionian Islands, and it's a geopark site. Um, the past year, Kefalonia has, has been recognized by UNESCO, and it has a geopark with over 50 geosites that can be visited and Mount Enos is one of the most popular. And lastly, a third key point about Kefalonia is that it's authentic. And what we mean by that is that visitors can get a real taste of Greek life. Um, there's a lot of folklore celebrations and religious festivities that take place that are open to the public with a lot of traditional Greek dancing and um, festivities that happen in the Greek traditional way. Um, Kefalonites is the word we use to describe locals. They are very friendly and especially towards family with young children. And uh, you know, a key characteristic of the island is that all the villages have squares which are open and uh, children play till the long hours. So it's something very interesting for families to keep in mind that children can play outdoors freely and in a very safe environment. Also, Kefalonia has very rich gastronomic identity. Um, currently, there are seven wineries distributed around the island that produce um, Kefalonia's distinguished wine called Robola. We've got our local feta cheese, we've got um, honey, we produce olive oil, we produce, apart from feta cheese, other local cheeses. And that has, and also Kefalonia has very distinct recipes um, that you rarely find in other parts of Greece. So it's very nice to be able to complement your holidays with an interesting gastronomic um, um, culinary experience, let's say. And also to finish, it has a cultural and historical heritage that's been influenced by the Venetian influence. So there are lots of castles and Mycenaean tombs that can be visited and old villages that are very nice to walk around in that have very distinct Venetian character. So Kefalonia has a very distinguished, um, um, let's say, character. Also, apart from its 
authentic and all the other characteristics we mentioned. Kefalonia has amazing beaches. Um, it's got over 100 beaches. A lot of them are organized, like Mirto's Beach, which I showed you in the beginning. We have Sea Beach with red sand, and Petani is another beach which is situated in the area of Luxuri, which is also organized beach. But there's also beaches that are for people who want to have a less organized uh, um, holiday, more quiet. So here are a little glimpse of the holidays, of the beaches we have on offer. Another interesting fact about Kefalonia is its unspoilt nature. Um, it's, it's an island that hasn't been developed in comparison to other Greek islands. So there are a lot of areas that um, tourists can uh, in, you know, explore and nature has remained at its um, fertile state. So there's, there's a lot of um, interesting places on the island that can be visited. And the beauty of that is that the, you can see it in this video actually. So we can be found Take our time. We've got 
got what you need I know that you've been waiting for it Okay, so uh, you know, having seen the video and see well, whoever managed to saw it, and um, the nature that the island has allows for a lot of activities and outdoor activities. So we Kefalonia offers paragliding, it has hiking activities, and there's a lot of trails that are on the island at the moment, but there's a lot that are under construction. So the the trails are de developing, and they're add we're adding more for hike activities um, there's kayaking there's scuba diving there's cycling and also there's going to be cycling routes on offer on the island um, we have daily boat excursions that can take you to different uh, beaches on the island that are not accessible by boat by car so you can go by boat or they take you to the nearby island of Ithaca and across to Zykinthos so there's a lot of boat day activities sailing of course and snorkeling um, so Kefalonia is a destination from what you've understood by now for families, couples, and especially nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. Um, so how can one get to Kefalonia? Well, there are direct flights from almost all the UK airports. So Jet2 flies from Birmingham, Bristol, East Midlands, Glasgow, um, Newcastle, Stansted, and Leeds. Um, currently, there are 66 hotels on sale for summer 2024. As you can see on the map here on this slide, there are a lot of um, facilities available all over the island. And most hotels are family run hotels. So it gives them a special character and a more family um, feel to them. And so there are 66 hotels, as, we, as I mentioned, and then there are 106 villas on offer for the summer of 2024. Um, and there's a very large network spread throughout the whole island and the villas have exceptional facilities and uh, for all tastes and sizes. So the four arguments for Kefalonia is that one, Kefalonia is unspoilt. Um, as we said in the beginning, it has a diverse landscape, a variety of beaches to suit everyone's tastes, and it has a, nat a natura and geological sites that have remained unspoilt, and it's on the tourism board's agenda to maintain most of those areas as they are. Kefalonia is an island to relax and unwind. Um, the local life is very peaceful, and when people arrive on the island, they immediately get the feel of that because the island does not offer, a, you know, a, for nightlife, for extreme nightlife activities. So it's more for someone who wants to relax and unwind. And also the resorts are spread out throughout the whole of the island. So the island is never overcrowded, even in the summer months, which are its peakest periods. Um, everyone spreads out very well throughout the whole island. Um, the benefits of off-peak are that the climate is warm and mild, nature is in its full bloom, and it's the most suitable period for outdoor activities as the climate is not so hot. And fourth, there are direct flights um, with daily connections everywhere. There's plenty of varieties to pick and choose from that suit everyone's needs. And to finish off, we'll show you the video of the whole destination so you get a whole feel of it of course the island has so much more but we couldn't put everything on this presentation and we're open to questions and any other issue you would like to ask us so here you go thank you